Previously on Duel Masters. It looks like Ironheart and Sky were spirits that once fought against darts in a battle between duel monsters and Arakalco soldiers thousands Taya, of years Taya, before. Taya, will I have to remember any of this? Well, I'll probably get brought up again later on in the season. Okay, okay thank, thank God, God, because I really wasn't listening, listening to any of that. Any of it. This time on Pokemon Johto Journeys. <sighs> <sighs> By the armpit hair of Amun-Ra! I can't believe we're actually climbing up the side of this cliff! It's the quickest way to get back to the train tracks! You know, back in my day, I would have just had my slaves construct some sort of ladder apparatus before- Are you okay? But there's a vulture! It's trying to take my Millennium Puzzle! Fight back, Pharaoh! Ugh, f***ing birds! I command you to shoo! Ugh, there we go. Okay. Are you alright, Pharaoh? Yes, Taya, I'm fine. But now I have to go back down there and challenge that vulture to a card game. You know, you really don't have to do that. You're right. I should be the bigger man. Besides, it's a vulture. It probably doesn't even have a deck. Actually, I think I can see a tiny bird-sized dual disc on its wing. Okay, f*** it, I'm going back down there. All right, vulture, it's time to duel. Ah! Oh, no, that's my hair. Taya, get it out of my hair. Kawaii I can't, I can't believe, believe we're spending this whole filler arc carrying Rex Raptor's dead body around with us. We <laughs> gotta keep going, Joey. Just think, Yugi could be in real danger. My friend Yugi is in danger? I gotta help my Yugi! And that's what happened in the Japanese version. Let's see how it was translated. We gotta keep going, Joey. Just think, when we get home, I will buy you a pizza. A freaking pepperoni pizza? Oh man, I gotta get that pizza! I'm from New York! And that is why the dub is always superior! Now let's see what the villains are doing! I hope they're eating pizza! Listen up, you bozos! I don't need any help taking down Joey Wheeler. Yeah, we know. You're a strong, independent woman who don't need no man. Was that... Sarcasm? No, totally serious. Raphael just has a voice like a William S. Burroughs novel. What? I'm difficult to read. Well, maybe you should try my new book. I call it Stay Out of My Way, the My Valentine story. And hey, it even has pictures, like this one of me walking out like the queen that I am. Dramatic hair flip. I don't think that's a real book! Crap! I was so busy declaring my independence in there that I forgot to ask for directions. Fortunately, this is season four, so no matter which way I go, the plot will eventually find me. Oi, my! Called it. Wait, is that moron actually trying to play chicken with me? Big mistake. See, maybe the My Valentine from season one would have fallen for this, but me, I don't quit. Enough games! What do you want? Games? Nah, mate. I just totally forgot that you drive on the other side of the road out here. Why can't you take a hint? One sec. Dramatic hair flip. I'm not interested in you. Yeah, I know. You've only got eyes for Joey Wheeler. Tell me, Ma, what's he got that I haven't got? Is it his dashing good looks? His exotic accent? His ability to be calm under pressure? Have you met? Joey? Tristan, you gotta get me that pizza, man! I am freaking out! Okay, Joey, I'm going to level with you. I may have lied about the pizza. What the fuck are you talking about, Tristan? You know that I'm gonna your pizza! You the freaking you lied to me about the pizza! I'm propelling and I'm gonna go crazy! Only briefly. Why? No reason. My, you and I are more alike than you know. I want to lash out at the world as well. Make everyone else feel the pain that's inside me. But there's no sense in doing it alone. Think how much fun we'd have taking them all down together. As lovers. Yeah, no. That's not happening. Alright then. As villains with benefits. Pretty sure American Bakura have that covered. Okay. 
Then how about a good old fashioned f buddy? You really want a broken arm twice in one season? Okay, so where are we going again? Like I said before, we have to catch up to Yugi. My grandpa is the only one who can translate the text from the Atlantean ruins. Okay, so why? Why aren't we driving on the roads? Because everyone knows the fastest way to catch up with a train is by driving recklessly across the desert while towing a trailer behind us. Duh! No, I mean, why? Why didn't we go with Yugi in the first place? Because, like I told you before, my grandfather has a severe phobia of trains. Everybody knows that. No, what I'm trying to say is, why is my Valentine standing right over there with that Aurichalcos guy? Huh, you're right. That doesn't make sense. Good thing you pointed that out. <laughs> Rebecca! I'm going to go see if this duel has valet parking, okay? You. How dare you. You hurt someone close to me, and I'm gonna make you pay for it! Let's go! Is everything all right out there, Rebecca? Go back to sleep, Grandpa! All righty then. I can't let you duel these guys alone, Rebecca. Let's make this a tag team duel, player. Oh, I'm not dueling. Oh, you're not? No, I'm not remotely invested in this. Okay, um... Can I cancel me being part of this? Too late, mate. You've already activated your dual disc. That's a binding contract between card wazix. That's what we call duelists in Cockney. Crap weevils. I don't really play this game a lot. I was mostly just trying to be chivalrous. It's easy, Duke. You summon monsters and battle using points. It's just like Dungeon Dice Monsters. It's nothing like... Wait, what did you say? Dungeon Dice Monsters, my favorite board game. It plays kind of like that. Okay, Rebecca. I know I've said this to a lot of people before, especially Joey's sister. But this time, I mean it. I think I might love you. I'll start us off with Psychic Armor Egg. It's got no attack points. You can just kill it. Oh man, I have no idea what that card does. If only there was some way to find out. Yeah, like asking what it does. But we can't do that. That would be rude. I guess we'll never know. What a couple of Muppets. There's Cockney for. What a couple of Muppets. Dimension the dice. I mean... It's my move. I summon Orgoth the Relentless. He tried relenting one time, but it turns out he can't do it. He is relentless. And I summon Cluster Dragon number two, Electric Boogaloo. Oh, I get it because of the movie. I sacrifice Psychic Armor Egg to summon Double Cloth Armor. Any attack to this guy causes your monster to be destroyed and makes you lose life points equal to half their attack. You could try it, but is it worth the risk? Well, you know me. I love to gamble. For me, life is a roll of the dice. I like to play the odds. Always bet on Duke. The odds are always in my... Are you calling an attack or what? Right, sorry. Go, Orgoth! Attack his monster! I warned him. Now he's gonna get it right in the kangaroo pouch. <laughs> Right in the fuzzy dice. My turn. I sacrifice Luster Dragon number two to summon the original Luster Dragon. Not as memorable as the sequel. Hold on to your hats with corks dangling from them because I activate my trap card, Magnet Armor. This lets me summon any armor-themed monster from my graveyard. So welcome back, Double Cloth Armor. Oh, fudgicles. Looks like your dragon just lost its luster, mate. Everything all right out there, pumpkin? <coughs> all right, just thought I'd check in. Let me know when we're in Florida. Son of a bee sting. What do you reckon, Mai? Are you impressed? Or would you rather be watching your precious Joey? Let me guess, he's off somewhere fighting bravely to save the world or summit. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Looks like I get the first slice of imaginary pizza. Oh, scissors, you never let me down. Except for that one time when I ran with you. Sure, why not? Working together with the power of friendship, we were able to summon Diamond Head Dragon. One more turn and your robot's decommissioned, you creep. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about taking her into the shop for an upgrade. Watch this. Yeah! I activate one of my most powerful cards. Oh no! He's going to use the seal of Oricalcos! That means if we lose, he'll take my mojo. I won't be able to make it with a woman. No, Duke. It takes people's souls. Oh. Well, that doesn't seem nearly as bad. Why is everyone freaking out? I activate Armored Gravitation! I can't tell if this is taking a while because it's Yu-Gi-Oh! or because it's an anime transformation sequence. 
Eat your heart out, robot policeman. That's Cockney for Robocop. This card's special effect allows me to... Ah, oh, who am I kidding? It just makes me look really bonkers cool while I kick the shit out of you. Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna twat your dragon in the twat, you twat! Wait for it! Anime trope achieved! Hey, does anyone want to wear the original? I found a whole bag here in the trailer. Nobody? Well, all the more for me then. I got a message for your mate, Joey Wheeler. Tell him I'm gonna shove me well oiled robot fist right up his ass. Only make it sound less sexual. Can't promise that, dude. So, what do you reckon, my pretty cool, eh? Go f yourself! <laughs> Huh, I'm getting so many mixed messages from this bird. By the perfectly spherical man bun of Sekhmet, these colors, they must indicate that the power of the Orichalcos is on the rise. The weather sure is an important plot point in this season. Yeah, whether or not you should watch it, which you should because I am in it. Oh man, I love the Awawa boy you. The Awawa boy you. Uh, I like the sky. Sky, the, the sky wambo. This is your pilot speaking. We hope you enjoy flying Kaiba Corp Airways. If you look out your window, you'll spot the imminent destruction of everything you know and love. Also, the Grand Canyon. You know, I really don't see the point in owning my own airline company if I can't even make the planes look like dragons. Design flaws my ass. Hey, bro, come check this out. Is it dragons? Are there dragons outside? No, it's just really pretty out there. Then why did you waste my time? with it. This is your pilot here to remind you that there is absolutely nothing suspicious going on. Please enjoy your in-flight entertainment, which is a 12-hour marathon of the series Dragon Tales. Thanks, that sounds great. I'm gonna watch it. Dragon Tales, Dragon Tales, it's almost time.